Hello everyone in this video let us talk about uh, herd immunity So today the UK government announced something weird and strange they announced that everyone in UK or most of the population of UK will eventually get uh, infected with coronavirus and uh, they actually are now suggesting this uh, concept of herd immunity where majority of people will get inf will get infected and uh, this is actually good for uh, for developing the immunity because when more people get infected they develop of course uh, this immunity against the infection and at the same time uh, uh, they are suggesting that this is actually that will eventually happen because uh, now since the infection is already in the country i'm talking about uk uh, they can't really do much about it so let us say if we go to uh, the the health center the nhs they will probably probably not uh, uh, test you for coronavirus let us say if you have the symptoms if you have uh, uh, symptoms like uh, you know flu where you have like maybe a cough maybe you have cold and you have mild fever and if you're doing all right not really severe or critical then they will probably ignore not ignore but they will probably uh, uh, not do a test they will not really bother about doing coronavirus test for you and a uh, uh, lot of people are a bit worried with this decision because uh, uh, they are not sure about this concept of herd immunity so i was doing you know some research today and i found out that this herd immunity is not really a new concept it was first introduced in 1923 so almost 100 years ago there was this concept of herd immunity so it is not really new and uh, if you are worried about uh, the decision from the government uh, i think uh, you should be assured that uh, whatever they are doing they i'm sure they have thought about this uh, herd immunity uh, i mean they, they have thought about this uh, this phenomena and uh, they know what they're doing and you can of course read about this uh, coronavirus uh, herd immunity in uk because the government is saying that around 60% of uk's population uh, will need to be be infected with coronavirus uh, for this herd immunity to be developed so i think they want people to just do whatever they are doing carry on with their business and uh, eventually people will get infected and uh, they will develop immunity and this developed immunity will ensure that uh, you're not really you're not really a carrier of the infection and this announcement was done by UK's chief scientific advisor sir patrick valence so when i re when i read about this announcement i was not sure what exactly is this herd community uh, herd immunity why i'm saying community but of course uh, it has to do with communities because they want people uh, to just uh, you know carry on with their business and uh, do not worry too much about uh, the infection because the infection is of course uh, like any other flu but of course uh, when it comes to uh, people who already have some other problems they are of course uh, in the high risk uh, you know zone or uh, they, they i think uh, they are probably vulnerable so people who are old people who have uh, uh, some other problems they need to be especially careful but i think uh, the government's response is definitely a bit uh, uh, of a surprise for majority of uh, uh, us especially living in uk but let us see how it goes and in the in the next few weeks or i i i guess in the next next few months i think uh, this problem will uh, probably be sorted on its own and uh, uh, the government's decision of this uh, herd immunity is really different from other countries like uh, 
you know most of the european countries countries like uh, india where they have uh, uh, restricted the travel they have cancelled the visas today i was reading about uh, the cancellation of uh, all the public gatherings in delhi where uh, cinemas are closed schools are closed colleges are closed and uh, this year i think uh, they will not do indian premier league which is uh, the uh, the cricket tournament and uh, uk government is saying that, that uh, uh, we want people to get this infection so that uh, they can build up the immunity so i think you don't really need to worry about uh, the corona virus because i think if you are following your uh, health hygiene properly i think uh, that is the only thing that you can potentially do there is not really much you can do about it apart from just making sure that uh, you wash your hands uh, while singing happy birthday twice and uh, you wash it at least uh, uh, you know few times a day avoid uh, traveling uh, if you can don't really go to big events and uh, just make sure that uh, uh you know you're not really a carrier of the disease you may get infected you may be able to cope up with it but uh, you don't really want to spread the infection and i think that is the plan uh from uk's government and this is also they are suggesting so i hope you uh you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much